Hello and welcome. Today we're going to look at the US Army Flare Drone. This is not an altitude hold or camera or GPS quadcopter, but it's a small flyer that is very bright and lots of fun to fly. So let's check it out. Now the drone comes in this uh, military themed uh, box, uh, kind of with uh, green camouflage coloring and uh, clear area here where you could actually see the drone and uh, it says glowing crash guards and uh, very neat look to it US Army flare drone and so let's take a look at it let's open it up so here's the drone and here is the manual flare drone and then I believe at the bottom of the box there's more so let's this out here. Got here, got another box in here. And here we have the right there. And let's see what's in this box. This one here. Got a little bag with stuff in there. So let's take a closer look at all of this right here. So here's everything once it's out of the box. You have the transmitter, a USB charger, a screwdriver, four spare propellers, the drone, and an instruction manual. The screwdriver is probably primarily used to change the batteries on the transmitter that requires a screwdriver. But aside from that, uh, changing the battery on the quadcopter doesn't really require a screwdriver. So. Uh, let's take a closer look at the drone. Now here is the drone, very sharp looking here. It does have a um, 3.7 volt uh, 500 milliamp uh, LiPo battery inside of it. And so it's you simply replace it in there, you just pop it in and you snap this door shut. And then uh, there's a, an on and off switch right there at the bottom. And it has these little uh, foam stoppers right here at the bottom of the landing legs. And overall, a neat little quadcopter here. Um, small, easily removable propellers. And they are color-coded to uh, denote the direction. You can also denote the direction by the lighting on the um, outer rims of these propellers. And but overall a very aerodynamic design um, You know nice battery compartment there and Good landing legs right there very sturdy. So and as for the transmitter Controls are very straightforward um, You have your left left stick throttle right stick rudder here. You have your directional trims Here your on off button you keep it pressed to turn it on keep it pressed to turn it off your speed switch um, it's really a button so you tap it once you'll hear one beep for uh, low speed two beeps for medium and then three beeps for high speed and then here is your one uh, touch flips so you tap that you'll hear some beeps and then in whichever direction you move the rudder it will flip in that direction so that's essentially it uh, the controls are really straightforward and it requires uh, four AAA batteries. So keep that in mind and then you'd have to screw it closed there. But uh, pretty straightforward control. Uh, this is not an altitude hold quadcopter so you'll notice that the uh, left stick uh, throttle uh, is not spring loaded. So uh, yeah, definitely a manual uh, quadcopter here but very fun very fast and I'll show you basically how you set it up for a first flight and that's about it uh, you turn her on like that and you'll see it flashing and you've got to bind it so you turn on the controller and the binding process is up and down on the throttle you hear a beep and that's it you're basically ready to go uh, you apply a little bit of throttle and you see that it's ready to go. So a very straightforward, very cool looking little quadcopter, 
especially for a little night flight outside. So uh, nothing too fancy in terms of features, no camera, no brushless motors or uh, GPS or anything like that. It's just a brushed uh, manual quadcopter, uh, pretty small, but it's uh, fast and very nimble and uh, may require a little experience, but it's really cool. So uh, we'll take it for a little flight and you can check it out.